it is day 132 of my Rowacatane journey. Um, I am just beginning month five. Well, I've done about a um, week of month five. Um, if you've seen my last video, you will have seen that I was on 40 milligrams a day. Um, but I was experiencing really low moods and I'm not the kind of person that feels negative. Like if I'm feeling negative, I can quite easily brush it off the next day I wake up and I'm feeling fine. But it just wasn't happening for me. I was feeling constantly low, tearful, like I've eaten like rubbish. Day 133. Day 136. Sorry, I forgot to film the last couple of days. No changes. Hey, it's day 140. Sorry I haven't filmed for a few days, but I really just feel like there's nothing happening and there's no point in filming. A tiny, tiny... A tiny, tiny little spot has appeared there. But other than that... We're looking the same. Day 141. A142. Day 144. I don't know if it's my imagination, but I feel like the scarring is actually going down a bit. Day 146. It's day 147, I have the dermatologist later this afternoon. Um, I'm pleased to report that I'm actually feeling quite a bit better. There are a number of things I've been doing uh, which could be contributing contributing to this. Obviously, I've lowered my dose. Um, when I came back from Spain, I kind of just decided that enough was enough and I wasn't happy living that way and I'm making a real effort to kind of tell my brain that I'm fine. And I've started eating properly again now. I'm not eating loads of rubbish. And I think all of them are probably contributing to making me feel a bit better. Like, don't get me wrong, I still have times where I'm like, meh. But in, I feel so much better than last month. Like, honestly, last month I could have stayed in bed for the entire month and cried and ate chocolate and ice cream and waffles and pancakes. But I feel <laughs> past that now. <laughs> Today is day 148. I went to the dermatologist yesterday. Um, she said she was happy to keep me on 30 milligrams. But from my calculations, like I, I need a cumulative dose of 10,000 and something. I was looking at the notes as she was writing and then so far I think I've done 5,500. So by my calculations, I've got like five or six months left, which is a very long time. That's basically a whole year on Rakutane. But um, I would much rather be on a lower dose and not feel how I felt. I mean, I don't even know if it was from the drug because before I've done 60 milligrams and I've taken Rakutane before and I've been fine. Or it could have just been a, an, a combination of everything. I don't know. I don't know, but anyway, I'm gonna stick with 30. She said if I did decide I wanted to go on a, summer, a sunny holiday, um, then to just stop taking my tablets a week before and I would be okay, just obviously stay protected while I was away. Um, but I don't have anything booked, so that's fine. Um, the only other thing is, I don't know if it shows on camera, but my eyelids have been getting really like dry and itchy up here and here. I can't shut this eye properly, it's really hard. <laughs> it's just, they've been sore. It started with this one. And then it's moved to this one. But um, she, gives, she has given me hydrocortisone cream, which I can use for the next three days. So hopefully that clears it up a bit. Um, other than that, she was pleased. It's day 149. Today I have finally got my appointment for the scan for the polycystic ovaries. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, everything's okay. My eyelids have been so sore I did mention that um, they'd given me some hydrocortisone to put on them. But yesterday my eyeballs like actually felt bruised and I don't know if that's because of the hydrocortisone or because of the dryness that's happening on the outside also on the inside or if it's some kind of hay fever. I don't normally get hay fever. Um, but I've been putting back in the drops that they gave me when my eyes were dry. Hykosan. Well, I mean, I've done that this morning. And I did it last night before I went to bed. Um, 
Yesterday I put the hydrocortisone on in the morning as well as the night before but today I'm not going to just in case that makes a difference because my eyes are really uncomfortable all day but as far as the skin goes I think it's looking quite all right. By the way my camera has got a viewfinder on it that I can normally see myself on but it's broken which is why like the last month I might be out of focus I mean not out of focus, I might be out of frame or um, my eyes are looking like here and that's because my mirror is behind the camera so I can kind of see if I'm in frame or not um, but hopefully I should be getting that fixed soon so uh, sorry if this month's video is a little straightened. Day 153, I'm sorry I know I missed a few days, nothing really has been going on but I have got a few little things here they're not really anything now but they weren't really ever anything but um they're just new small spots hello it is day 154 i feel like i am repeating myself but for the sake of the video and my own mind i am going to continue to do this because the last time I was on Maracatane I stopped at month four and I had two months left and I can't remember what happened, if I completed the course, nothing. And um, they are saying that the reason I might have relapsed, so to speak, and this is now my third time on, on Maracatane, is because I have never finished a course. That could be a reason. Um, the very first time I was on it, I think I was on a really, really low dose the whole time. They worked it out differently. They didn't work it out by my weight and then a cumulative dose. Um, last time they did, but I don't know if I ever completed the course. You know like when you take antibiotics and you feel better and then you're like, meh. I might have done that, but I honestly can't remember because it was three years ago. Um, so I put the hydrocortisone on my eyes and it helped, but now I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if, even know if I'm pointing the camera in the right place. Yes. Here. It's so itchy on my eye. And uh, I don't know. I've been using Revitalash to try and grow me old eyelashes as well. I don't know if it's a reaction from that or if it is a Roaccutane thing. But um, I'm going to try the Hydrocortisone again. Maybe just tonight, every other night. Um, and see how I get on. Also... Here is quite itchy. Um, it's been like that for a little while, but I just haven't thought to mention it. But I just thought I would now because I've got nothing else to say other than my skin looks exactly the same. Um, but I just want to say, when I think to how I felt this time last month when I was on 40 milligrams, I feel like a different person. Like, I felt disgusting then. Like, I've never felt like that person. And I can really understand now, like I have this understanding of when people say they're clouded by mental health or depression or anything like that, I can understand that you kind of feel like you're in this hole that you can't get out of and nothing seems worth it. You quite happily do nothing for the rest of your life. And I understand that now and it's a horrible place to be in. And um, if you have any friends that suffer with uh, anything like that then just be there for them because it's hard it's really hard I'm so pleased that I came out of the other end and and that I felt I was able to speak up and say I can't you know this is too much for me I, I was waking up in the morning and saying to my other half I just want to cry I just want to stay in bed all day like, and he'd be like what's wrong I don't know nothing and I just cry and that is not a way to live life um, anyway, <laughs> one day left of the tablets today and then I move on to the next month which I don't even know what it is anymore but uh, yeah. It's day 155, the last day of this month, another one in the bag. My eyelids are so itchy and sore and swollen, I have put hydrocortisone on them this morning. But I think I'm going to lay off the Revitalash for a few days and see if that makes a difference. And if it does, then I think I'm having a reaction to that rather than anything to do with Rakuten. So let's see. I will continue to um, make videos every day when I remember. Um, I just feel like a bit of a dick <laughs> because 
I'm saying and doing exactly the same thing every day but uh, I will keep on doing them. Thank you for watching, good luck if you're going through the same and please get in touch if you'd like to.